In the early part of the 20th century, hefty and impractical steel plates were tested, eventually giving way to lighter ceramics, developed in the 60s. Specialized ceramics are still in use in current military hard body armor in the form of large single or monolithic plates, but they remain bulky and cumbersome. Murray set out to invent a better vest, and after two years of research and development, he came up with his first variant of a revolutionary product he calls Dragon Skin. With the Dragon Skin body armor, we fabricate it out of individual discs, and each individual disc is laid out in a specific pattern, like a disc kind of, like this. Right. It'll bend and flex and twist with your body um, and allow you the freedom of movement. So how does Dragon Skin work? Well, the non-oxide ceramic used in the discs of dragon skin is a material second only to diamond in hardness. Unlike soft body armor that catches a bullet, hard body armor works by causing the bullet to shatter on it. In order to test these vests, we traveled to California, the Fresno Police Department's firing range, where we enlisted the help of two officers from Fresno's Special Weapons and Tactics team. Murray told me the lengths they go to to make sure their armor stands up in the real world. Work your way in, come up, work your way in. We have ammunition sent in from in-country. This ammunition came from Iraq. Okay. This is a steel-jacketed bullet. It doesn't have a copper jacket. It doesn't mushroom, it penetrates deeper. It's a military round. According to the NIJ military standard, current level three monolithic military hard body armor must withstand three shots, but Murray's willing to test his dragon skin well beyond that benchmark. We will shoot approximately 20 to 26 rounds of the AK-47 military ball ammunition into it. Then when we're done, We'll give you 100 9 millimeter rounds all in the front from inside the three yard line. Great. This is the extreme durability that you can put body armor through. All right, let's do it. OK. Clear. Fire in a hole. Murray even let me take a turn, and I quickly unloaded an additional 20 rounds into the vest. Well, Murray, what do you say we pull this off and take a look? We got a little scratch here. Well, actually, it's just a tear in the fabric, because you see there's no holes. Oh, yeah, right. So it's, it's just an abrasion from all the impact. Yes. Just, so you know what we decided here? You need to make better t-shirts. It's not going <laughs> to hold up to a lot of washing. Yeah. 